right, fam. So we are playing the Perth Glory Academy first team, which is the team right below their A-League team in the first division. Um, both of us play in the NPL. This is the NPL Night Series, which is a fantastic tournament to showcase sort of a preseason look at each of the NPL teams. We, of course, are Rockingham City FC in the green and yellow. Perth Glory is in the purple. So we will hop right into the video as soon as this intro rolls. So the first clip that I will show you guys is just a throw in. I'm playing left wing back. I'm number five right there. So we get a foul, turn on to the next one, and I'm gonna take an overlap. That's our center forward. You'll see me coming to the frame right now. A good overlap, touch forward, and then play, try to play that ball right in behind to our winger. Alright guys, so I'm going to pause it right here and in this type of situation, as you can see, I've got the guy who I'm marking in front of me, the winger, and my only job is to either put pressure on him to make him play backwards or as you'll see, make sure that I mark him if he tries to do a 1-2. So we end up getting that ball, press out, and the keeper has to hit it out and then I'm just making sure that that guy doesn't get there. No problem, straight into a throw, get it behind that center back who then our winger gets a foul does a great job in that situation next play I am showing wide checking my shoulder and here just making sure that that player doesn't get past me down the wing and we're able to retain possession back and that's me again just gonna turn get aggressive so that he can't get that ball unfortunately a bad touch on my teammate but no worries here we go drop ball Ping this straight into the center forward, who takes a poor touch forward, unfortunately doesn't keep it for us. Next play, just a throw in. Again, we're trying to press really high in the first 15 minutes of the game, so I'm just trying to get it as high up the field as I possibly can. Next one is a one-on-one -on -one defending, making sure that my arms are behind my back, takes down the line, and then just getting my body in and getting a throw in out of the play. That throw in, try to get as high up the field again as possible, try to hit it into my center forward, and we retain possession. This is their goal, it's a free kick, gets pretty lucky, hits the ground, and takes a weird hop over our goalkeeper, so no stress there, this was pretty early on in the game and we felt like we had a good control over what was going on. Here's another throw in. Just trying to get that ball up again as high as possible so we can get numbers up and start to attack. So in this play, our center mid does a great job and then we're just playing combos to try to get out of that really small space. Um, our center mid, or excuse me, our center forward is a little too far over, but that's okay. So here we go, another one-on-one. -on -one. That runner should be covered. Then we try to step up and make sure that he just plays backwards. All right, so I'll pause it here. Here's another situation, again, that number nine in purple who I'm marking, it's really important to put pressure on him because as soon as I put pressure on him and not be dumb about it, um, he loses possession of the ball and we can get that back. So that ball probably should have come to me, but it, he tried to hit that crossfield ball, which is, which is good as well. Um, here we go. So now I'm inside. I had underlapped, try to play that ball into our center forward and unfortunately loses the ball. So here we go again. Just making sure that I'm getting in front of the guy. And we've do, done a great job at getting physical with those guys. Staying wide here again so I can get the ball turning and then pinging the ball. This was such a weird mess up. We very much could have gone scored on there. Um, unfortunately didn't, but that was the play. All right, so this is a loose ball and I'll pause it here. So our right mid is isolated one-on-one -on -one, and there's a really good opportunity for me to clear the ball, but directionally clear the ball right in his path. So that's what happens. Get it up with my right foot and he does a great job. He's very quick and gets after that ball and then ends up winning us a free kick in a great area there. Next play, I'm trying to get wide as possible get that ball forward, take a touch, probably could be more aggressive, but
but just make sure, and this opportunity should have been a goal, follow my run in. As soon as he beats the guy, I'm right into the box. He taps it into me, and I just get a toe on it, but the goalkeeper gets there. So here's another 1v1, and it's really, really important. So we'll pause it again. All right, so play that clip again, and I'll pause it right here. So there's an opportunity. I trust my back line. We have numerical advantage, but at the same time, I might want to get a little closer to that guy just to force him not to hit that cross. So as you see, good body position, but the guy gets the cross off before I get even close to him. So this one again, just making sure that I'm putting pressure here and probably could slide in there just so he doesn't play that, but our center back Diaz does a great job at defending and then we get the ball out for a throw. Next play, again, putting pressure on that player who comes into that space and we get a throw in out of it. Super, super important to put pressure on players, but in a way that's really functional. Good ball back to the center back and then we just get that ball moving as quickly as we can across to the other side. So that ball is a free kick, try to play dead side. The sun was right in his eyes. I don't know what happened there. He didn't really go to the ball, but we ended up losing it. That's all right. Uh, another 1v1, tries to take it again and just make sure to slide in and so he doesn't get that cross off. All right, so I'm gonna pause it right here. So in halftime, our left side center back got an injury. So I actually stepped into the left side center back. I also played winger in this half and I played center central center back because of some red cards. So just to keep in mind, right now I'm getting the ball here and this was a totally screwed up pass. I mishit it completely and scuffed the ground. Next play, get it down and just try to hit it off him because I did not have any options there. Plays the ball back again and in this situation again, just trying to get it off that player so we can get a ball in. All right, so in this play, I'm gonna let it play out and pause it right here. So I have two options, and as you can see, my center mid is pointing to the left wing back. That's who I should have played first time. I ended up trying to hit it into my center mid and over hit it a little bit. He's a shorter guy, so it just ended up not working very well. Um, but that ball should just come straight out to the left side center back instead of going back into their, uh, into their player. So here, just clearing the ball out, getting it, because I'm 1v1 back there. This play is really hard to see, but as you can see, I'm up in the right-hand top corner, check to the ball, get that ball straight to feet, turn around to our wing back and make a overlapping run. I know it's really hard to see with the glare. So here's our first goal. I play a short corner to our center mid who whips the ball in and we get a great header on there and get a goal. It was just a fantastic header great build-up play and I'm happy to be a part of that type of team goal. Alright so in this play I know it's incredibly difficult to see and I've actually deleted several clips of me doing very basic passing just because you can't even see where I'm at. Right there I'm pressing the goalkeeper um, but the next clip is my goal so it comes off it's a great team goal credit to the entire team who made this whole thing happen. Diaz plays up little creativity from the center midfielder out to the winger and then I'm making that run in behind. Nathan plays a great ball in and then that's just a little fake and then I need a close shot into the goal. So that is my first goal of the 2021 20, season. Very excited to get the winner against the glory and hopefully we'll have many more to come this season. All right, so the play right afterwards, Nathan does a good job, and I'm going to pause it right here because as you can see, I'm standing right on the outside of their center back's shoulder, and they were really spread apart, so it was very easy to get in behind them. Um, unfortunately, took a pretty poor touch here with my chest and didn't get that ball, but um, it was the same run as, as you can see, the coach is kind of smirking there because it was definitely uh, a good one. So here's a corner kick I took went near post, nobody was there unfortunately. I probably should have just tried to find somebody back post, but that's all right. All right, so this is the center back that just got a red card. So what he did was basically tackle the guy that should have been either a yellow card or just a regular foul, and then clipped the guy on his way down uh, after he had walked over him. So kind of a stupid foul, really unnecessary red card, but that's why I now will step into the central center back. So here's me again, getting a good block, 
trying to make sure that that player doesn't get any opportunity to cross the ball, but when they do, it's hopeful and our goalkeeper can handle it. So next one, now I'm following that play all the way around, making sure that I'm blocking that cross and it goes out for a corner for them. Now I'm gonna do the short corner. So I'm, as you can see, I'm marking the short corner and I'm just gonna do some one-on-one -on -one defending, cut off the guy that did the overlap and then just force him into me, make a good 1v1 defend and then get out of the box. So here's the other red card that happened. This was his second yellow, so it wasn't a straight red. It was just a tackle from behind. Kind of dumb, if I'm honest. But at the end of the day, we handled it. So we're down to nine men now for the last, I want to say, eight or nine minutes of the game. It was very stressful. They brought their goalkeeper up for most of the corner kicks and stuff. But we held it down. So that's a clearance by me as well. Um, and then Diaz comes in and clears the ball even further out. Last play of the game, I'm there in the center, just trying to get in front of the guy, and that player barely uh, makes it happen. So that is it, guys, for the video. Thanks so much for joining today. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you got any sort of value from it, and I will see you guys in the next one.